hello everyone welcome to basic tutorials now in this effect you can see it looks pretty pretty confusing on the screen here but when you actually play the animation it looks pretty decent see let's get straight into how we create this effect so i have my text and the animations i'm going to use it's a compilation of what I want to call these glitchy type animations so an animation like the random bars that could pass for a sort of glitch or what I like to use the dissolve in effect that also has a sort of glitchy type thing to it so that's the first animation I'm going to put that as a disappear animation so I'm going to the exit effects and I'm going to make that dissolve out so I'm changing the delay to about one second and the duration to 0 0.10 seconds so it's there and then it disappears and what I'm going to do I'm going to copy and paste the text mm, anywhere you want to put it I'm putting it as close but not so close that you can't notice it and I'm going to change that animation the end end animation for this one I'm changing that to the random bars and obviously I'm putting that with previous and again changing the duration again it looks pretty decent but we just have to continue performing the same acts so line it up and I'm going to add an exit animation I use the dissolve out So just in case you, you get a little confused what's happening it starts off with an, an exit animation then an intro animation for the new text and then that text disappears and then another text will appear and disappear so this and this it's one animation an intro and an exit then an intro and an exit for another one so after a while it would look to, it would be a little confusing but as long as you know what you're doing and you and you put the right animations in the right places there shouldn't be a problem so each entrance animation should be played with previous to the last exit animation the great thing about it about this animation is that you don't really need to have a lot of animations all you really need is just a little bit of animations to make this effect well now it's really simple i could go on and add how many more animations i want to add to make it a little more realistic but for sake of time i'm just leaving it right here but you can continue to add those animations and animate the glitch in whatever way whether you want it to move, whether you want it to stay one place, whether you want it to change from one object to another, etc. And you make it work. So that's basically the effect. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and see you in another video. Thank you so much for watching.